welcome to our programming channel today we are going to see common language runtime that is clr in c sharp the common language runtime clr is the component or environment of microsoft.net framework and the clr manages the execution of programs which runs in the .net framework so the common language runtime clr is the environment of microsoft.net framework which manages the execution of .net programs CLR manages the execution of programs written in different supported languages. The various languages which supports .NET framework and if we make programs or if we develop programs or applications in those languages then execution of those programs can be managed by CLR. The CLR provides various services and those services makes development process easier. So the services like memory management, type safety, exception handling, garbage collection, security, thread management, cross language integration and debugging services. The .NET framework supports many programming languages like C Sharp, VB, J sharp. So we can develop application in any language. So developer can develop application in C sharp or in VB.net also and in any other language also. And each language has separate or specific compiler. For example, C Sharp has compiler CSC, VB.NET has compiler VBC. Thus, each language has specific compiler. And that compiler compiles the code. Then that code is called as IL code that is intermediate language code or MSIL code that is Microsoft intermediate language code. We can say this IL code or MSIL code as assembly IL code but we cannot directly execute this assembly IL code on operating system because this code is partially compiled code or half compiled code. Here at this stage CLR that is common language runtime takes this IL code and gives to JIT compiler that is just in time 
compiler. The JIT compiler converts this IL code or MS IL code into native code means binary code or machine code which can be executed by the operating system. Unmanaged component. Com components and languages like C, C++ do not generate IL code or MS IL code. So instead of CLR, these are managed by operating system. So the code is called as unmanaged code. IL code which is managed by common language runtime that is CLR is called as managed code. Components of the common language runtime CLR class loader loads all the classes at runtime JIT compiler converts MSIL code to native code we have seen that the JIT compiler that is just in time compiler converts MSIL code that is Microsoft Intermediate Language code or IL code into native code. Native code means machine code or binary code that is executed by the operating system. Code manager manages the code during runtime. The code manager in CLR manages the code developed in the .NET framework. So it is called as managed code. The managed code is converted to IL code that is intermediate language code by language specific compiler. Then JIT converts IL code to native code. Garbage collector. Garbage collector deallocates unused objects and provides automatic memory management. Garbage collector collects all unused objects and deallocates them to reduce memory, thus provides the automatic memory management feature. So there is no need for programmers to write the memory management codes. Security Manager With Code Access Security Model CAS CLR restricts the code means CLR checks the permissions of code and 
allow the code to perform only those tasks which the code has permissions and the code cannot perform other tasks without permission thus clr restricts the code and maintains security type checker type checker strictly checks type and prevents assigning a type to another type when are not compatible means uh, when we declare a variable with one data type we cannot declare the same variable again with another data type suppose if we declare variable i with integer data type then we cannot declare same variable i with string data type or boolean data type for that we have to declare another variable like variable z for string data type or boolean data type thread support provides multi threading support to application each application runs with at least one thread so application can perform one operation but when we want application to perform multiple operations simultaneously or at the same time at that time multi threading is required so because of multi threading support multitasking can be possible exception manager handles exceptions at run time and avoids the application failure at run time the exception manager component handles all exceptions at run time with the help of catch and finally blocks thus avoids the application failure at run time debug engine debug engine allows to debug applications debug engine provides debugging services such as execution control breakpoints and expression evaluation debug engine supports clr to keep track of a managed code program being debugged benefits of clr automatic memory management or garbage collection we have seen that garbage collector collects all unused objects and deallocates them to reduce memory thus automatic memory management happens with garbage collector or with garbage collection platform independence any platform which supports .NET CLR on that platform code can be executed exception handling we have seen that exception manager component with the help of catch finally blocks can avoid application failure at run time multi threaded applications because of multi threading support 
application can perform multiple operations at the same time. Thus, multitasking can be possible. Object oriented programming features. Object oriented programming features like inheritance, interfaces, overloading. We can able to use these features. So performance of an application can be increased. Cross language integration. Common type system that is CTS provides common standard. So different languages can share each other's libraries. So efforts of extra coding minimizes and this becomes time saving also. Security. With the code access security model, CLR enforces restrictions on code by giving access to perform those tasks for which it has permission. Type safety. Type safety prevents assigning a type to another type when are not compatible. When we declare a variable with one data type, then we cannot re-declare the same variable with another data type or we cannot assign a value not compatible with its declared data type. Suppose we declare variable A with integer data type, then we cannot declare same variable that is variable A with another data type like string data type, boolean data type or we cannot assign a value not compatible with its declared data type. Suppose now variable a is of integer data type then we cannot assign boolean value that is true or false to variable a because it is integer variable thus type safety maintains by clr that's all for common language runtime that is clr in c sharp in our channel, there are regular uploads of programming related videos. So for latest updates, please subscribe the channel and like and share videos. Thanks for watching.